All right, guys, I'm painting a picture for you. Imagine that you're sitting at home. You've been searching the internet, scouring it for the last three, four, five, maybe six months in search of the perfect portable sawmill. Let's assume you've decided that you're gonna buy a Woodland Mills portable sawmill. Well, that's just great. I have had great success with my HM130 back there. Check out my other videos if you wanna see it in action. But before you pull the trigger, before you throw down that credit card and get delivery, of your portable sawmill, there are three things I would strongly suggest based on my experience that I think you should order with your sawmill so that when you get it, you're gonna be up and cutting and not sitting at home and waiting, wishing you had ordered these three things when you pulled the, when you pulled the trigger. So those three things starts off with number one and what that is, is the spare parts kit. Woodland Mills sells a spare parts kit with their portable sawmills and you have to pay extra for it, which is fine. But what it's going to give you is basically a box like this with some pulleys, some bearings and all kinds of other things that's going to keep your portable sawmill up and running. Can't remember exactly how much it is and I'm sure that price changes based on the sawmill you're going to buy. But in my experience, that box is empty because I've actually used those spare parts. Those spare parts have kept me out here cutting as opposed to being at home riding the couch and waiting. Number two, make sure you guys get yourself some extra sawmill blades. This thing here, it's going to eat sawmill blades from time to time and that's just inevitable. If your sawmill blade gets dull or it breaks, you would much rather have a blade sitting right there, nice and sharp, ready to put on as a replacement, as opposed to heading on back to the house, calling up Woodland Mills and saying, gee, can you send out another blade because we all know it's not gonna get there overnight. I don't know, maybe they have some payment for that. Maybe you can get it overnight, but it's probably not gonna get there overnight and you're gonna be stuck not cutting, but instead waiting. Number three, the final thing that I would buy when I'm buying one of these Woodland Mills sawmills, I'd make sure to buy a bed extension. Now with a bed extension, you can cut wood almost up to 17 feet in length. When I bought this sawmill, I thought there's no way I'm gonna cut a 17 foot length piece of wood. But when it came down to the odd project, like my trailer project, I needed to put some long lengths of board on the bed of that trailer. Without this extra extension, I would definitely not have been able to put a single board across the entire length of that trailer. So those small instances where you don't think you're gonna to need to have the length, well, it sure is nice to have it. And for the extra cost, it's not all that much to give yourself several more feet of log length. So there it is, folks. You got three things I'd strongly suggest based on my personal experience with my HM130 that you should buy before you get delivery of your portable sawmill. What those three things were, you got extra blades, you got a parts kit, and you've got a bed extension. Those three things I think will make you nice and happy and make it so that you're up cutting as opposed to at home calling for replacements. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me here today. As you can see here, Code is chomping at the bit again. That's kind of a uh, kind of a common scenario around here. He's chomping at the bit to get out and get his walk in for the day. So I'm gonna head on out of here. Appreciate all you guys watching. Make sure, as I mentioned, you check out my other videos dealing with that Woodland Mill sawmill because I got all kinds of them and I built all kinds of projects with that thing and I'd be happy to share it with you. So guys, hope to see you all next time and you guys all take care. Coda. Have any tips to add? Any words of wisdom? What do you think? Would you buy one of these sawmills? No, you would, eh? Okay. Well, good to hear. Well, there you have it. Straight from the dog's mouth. He'd buy one too. Make sure you get those replacement parts. Yeah.